we are going on a bookish day today so i thought about this video idea long and hard because i wanted to come up with something that i hadn't really seen a lot of booktubers do and what i came up with is just kind of doing a whole day of bookish activities and it's like two days so we're gonna go read at a coffee shop that's one thing we're doing then we're gonna go book shopping and we're gonna do a little book haul then I also want to go to my local little library and donate some books and pick up some books if they have anything that interests me and then we can maybe talk about some kindle books that I'm currently reading and we can even talk about some like unpopular bookish opinions and just do a whole bookish date so I'll take you guys along I am currently ready to go this is my outfit and then there's Bailey and yeah I'll just take you guys along hopefully we get a really really fun video out of this why i'm not wearing makeup and one of them is definitely laziness and my hair is wet i just got out of the shower okay but i forgot that i was filming this video and my plans kind of got derailed in true me fashion i was supposed to be going to the little library and donating some books but the weather just kind of turned here in california and i was unable to do that the little library here you have to walk to it because it's within the neighborhood you can't really drive and you can't really park there what we're doing is we're just gonna make it work okay so i ended up thinking that we can probably just do a mini book haul mini <laughs> meaning i'm only gonna show you two books one of them i'm already currently reading and the other one I got at the bookstore that you guys saw that I was shopping at you might have seen one of them already in this video because I was reading it at the coffee shop but let's just kind of do a little book haul with the one you guys already seen that is two wrongs make a right I honestly I'm really enjoying this book I already made the 100 page mark and it's pretty cute for you guys description it's pretty long so it says Jamie Westberg and Bia Wilmont have nothing in common except a me disaster and the mutual understanding that they couldn't be more wrong for each other but when the people closest to them play Cupid and trick them into going on a day, Jamie and Bea realize they have something else in common after all, an undeniable need for revenge. Soon their plan is in place, fake date obnoxiously, and convince the meddlers that they're madly in love. Then they break up spectacularly and dash everybody's hopes, putting an end to the matchmaking madness once and for all. To convince everyone that they have fallen for each other, Jamie and Bea will have to nail the performance of their lives, but as their financial act near nears and playing lovers becomes easier than not they begin to wonder what if cupid arrow wasn't so off the mark and what if two wrongs do make a right so we did end up getting a book but it wasn't this one but i wanted to show you guys another book that i got then i picked this one up at the bookstore at my local bookstore this is mary jane by jessica anya blau i have heard this is more of a fiction novel type of book it's not like a romance or anything like that the last fiction book that i read that i really really enjoyed that wasn't romance fantasy or a thriller was asian Jones and the sex and this is the setting of this book is pretty similar in the sense that it takes place in the late, late 60s to 70s i think so i'll read you guys the description i actually started reading this book on my kindle but I've been wanting to have the actual physical copy and I never finished this so I think I'm just gonna start from the beginning pretty short book and it comes with a marker I love that my books are just that they have free book markers 
And yeah, I'll just read you guys the description real quick. It says, in the 70s, Baltimore, 14-year-old Mary Jane loves cooking with her mother, singing in the church choir, and enjoying Broadway shows tunes for the nanny of the daughter of the local doctor. A respectable job, Mary Jane's mother says, in a respectable. The house may look respectable on the outside, but inside is a literal and figurative mess. Clutter on every surface. Impeachment now more than ever. Bumper stickers on the doors take off for dinner. Even more troublesome were Mary Jane mother to find out. The doctor is a psychiatrist who has taken in a famous rock star and his movie star wife for the summer so that the rock star can get clean. So he has like a, some type of drug addiction. Mary Jane introduces her new household to critically iron clothes, milk that has not spoiled, and a family dinner schedule. In return, she has the front row seat to a world of sex, drugs, rock music, and group therapy. Caught between the lifestyle she's always known and the future she's only realized is possible, Mary Jane will arrive at September with a new idea of what she wants out of her life and what kind of person she's going to be. I'm so excited because I haven't had the feeling Daisy Jones and the Six gave me when I read it and this could be potentially something that's gonna give me, give me that feeling again. Now we're gonna talk about unpopular book opinions because I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while but I don't think I have gathered enough book opinions to actually do a video and since it was so last minute I didn't really get to put a poll on Instagram or like ask you guys any questions so I just went on TikTok and typed in unpopular book opinions and I just wrote down some stuff that people were talking about so if this is like one of you, like just let me know because I'll, you know, give you credit for the Puppet Book Opinion. There's like too many that I couldn't really like write down every single creator's on Puppet Book Opinions. But these were some that I've heard a lot before and I don't think they're unique to this person. So let's just kind of start with the first one. I thought these were all, I mean, two of them are my Puppet Book Opinions and the other ones are just like other people's that I found on TikTok. Let's start with the first one that I found and it says... People in age gap romances have to be over 18 for me to enjoy it. I agree with this. I don't like it when the age gap starts when the person's a minor or even if they meet when the person's a minor. And that's kind of an ick that I'm kind of going through right now while reading the addicted series. Because Shrike and Daisy do meet when she's a minor. And even though they say that the relationship's like purely innocent and all of that it just still makes me really uncomfortable like i don't really like it so hopefully I end up growing out of that and liking that couple in the series but so far it's not for me then it says i don't like spicy books that are set in high school oh my god this okay i read a million kiss in your lifetime and that's a book that made me so uncomfortable i like the book but i couldn't like get myself to forget the fact that they were in high school because it is a really really spicy book book is one of the spiciest books i've ever read and it is set in high school and they are minors for like the first half of the book and that just is just wrong in my opinion no hate if you like this book that's just how i feel about it praying like how i feel about this appropriate book opinions that doesn't mean that you can have whatever opinion you want but i do agree with a lot of these the next one says miscommunication trope is realistic like this person was saying that in real life humans tend to really miscommunicate a lot and I do agree with that but it's hella annoying in a book and I hate reading a book with that trope so I just don't want to see it so I disagree with that a little bit I agree and disagree I have a love-hate relationship with this unpopular book opinion next it says shadow friends to lovers is better than enemies to lovers I have to disagree I like a lot of really I like a lot of really popular enemies to lover books and I also really like a lot of popular love Shallow Friends to Lovers books and I still think enemies to lovers is superior. I feel like Shallow Friends to Lovers needs to be done right or it gives me the ick. That's all I'm gonna say. Then it says hate it when people hate on books just because books are recommended them. This is the superior on public book opinion ever because I agree with that. I think I see it's almost like trendy to hate on books just because BookTok recommended them. And I think that's like such an unhealthy relationship with reading, to be honest. Like, hate on a book because you have actually a reason to, <laughs> not just because it's popular on BookTok. You know what I mean? Because every time I see someone hating on a book that's popular on BookTok, the main reason why they hate it is like this book was super overhyped and it didn't live up to the hype for me and blah 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 like it's just like 
there's not like an actual reason why you hate that book it's because it was popular we have emily henry books are overhyped the men are not interesting to many pop culture references i have a love-hate relationship with emily henry's books so far i think i want to say loving hate i love her writing style i will say that i didn't like book lovers i dnf people made on vacation eventually i want to finish that book because i have been kind of craving her writing style but i the men <sighs> Beach Read is one of my favorite books, so I do love August August Everest. He's like one of my favorite book boyfriends. But yeah, I don't I didn't really like Charlie Lastra from Book Lovers. And she does have a lot of pop culture references and those do give me the ick. Like I don't like seeing the mention of TikTok or Snapchat or like trendy stuff on books. It's just not something I'm looking for. This is my opinion actually, one of my own pop-up book opinions. It's okay to grow out of liking an author and like still not be hating on the author. For example, the reason why I said this is because I feel like I have grown out of liking Colleen Hoover books and her writing because I have read so many more books by so many other great authors and this is not to say I dislike Colleen Hoover books or dislike her now or anything. I just feel like I have grown out of recommending her books and that's totally okay. That's not to say that when her next book comes out, I'm still not gonna read it like i will read it <laughs> but yeah i've kind of grown out of liking her stuff next we have my least favorite this is not mine this is somebody else's my least favorite popular book talk book is book lovers i agree with this i think it was the setting the story the writing style has so much potential but it just didn't live up to what I expected the book to be. Then it says, graphic smut, smut is not my favorite. I honestly don't really like graphic smut. I will say in full disclosure, I tend to skip some scenes in books that just, I just don't see the point for them. I just kind of skim through them, especially if they're like super graphic. Then we have, let's see. This one's a really, really good on paper opinion. And <laughs> here's the thing, okay. Hating on Colleen Hoover but loving Penelope Douglas. This really, really got me. I do think Penelope Douglas books can be problematic a little bit. Like the age gap romance, it's a little uncomfy. And then the Credisons one, there's like almost like incest in that book. Like, because I know Colleen, they say that Colleen Hoover romanticizes like domestic abuse or something like that and it like glorifies it or something. And there is like a lot of really bad things in Penelope Douglas books, Penelope Douglas books too. And I don't think it gets talked about enough. It does not to say you should feel bad for reading her books or Colleen Hooper books, but let's just be fair, okay? <laughs> like there are a lot of really, really problematic authors and like books, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't read them. Like you can read whatever you want, in my opinion. Let's see. Hating on people for buying books off Amazon is wrong. I do agree with this. I don't think everyone has the resources to be going to bookstores and paying full prices for books. And I also don't think that reading on Kindle Unlimited and then not purchasing the book is wrong. I think, you know, just stop hating on people for reading and what books are reading, how they get their books. Like, this is a hobby. Let's not be so serious about it, okay? Then we have... Oh, I enjoy the books that made me read in school. I highly agree with this. I know there's a lot of hate on classics and stuff like that. I fell in love into, with reading when I was in school. I read, I read The Diary of Anna Frank. I read Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet and all of that. I read The Alchemist. I read The Last of the Mohicans. That one was actually more like I wanted to read that. But I did enjoy those books. And now reading classics has become a little more difficult for me because of time. Let's just stop hating on that. We have... I don't mind the pregnancy trope if don't write. I agree with this. I think I don't really mind it or like hate it as much as um, I know there's like a lot <laughs> a lot of people that really really hate it. It won't like spook me out of reading a book, but it definitely won't be my favorite book. That's all I'm gonna say. And then for me, I kind of already made this comment. This is my own on public book opinion. I hate pop culture references in books. I just can't have it. I honestly don't really enjoy a book if they're trying to be like trendy and like, it's just not enjoyable. And with that being said, we're come to the end of this video. I wanna 
Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. This video definitely didn't turn out like I expected it to, but we made it work. So I'll keep you guys updated on the reading of this book and this book. I feel like I'm probably going to be including this one in my wrap up for this month. So yeah, you guys are going to be seeing what I think about it pretty soon. So make sure to do the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.